They've been donated to the, the JVs, apparently, and uh, Elder's going to go all white, white jerseys, white pants, with uh, purple trim and uh, purple numerals. So Elder makes a change in their, uh, their costume tonight, and uh, with Halloween two days away, they hope that uh, this will be lucky for them. DeFranco to kick it away for Elder, he does so, it's taken by Jeff Schroeder with his 10-yard line, fakes a handoff coming right side, tries to cut into the middle of the field, and he's taken down inside the 15 at the 15-yard line. On the special teams hit for the Elder Panthers, Dan Bachman. Quick, quick turn, but good coverage by Elder there, and Oak Hill starts at their own 15. First and 10 Highlanders at their 15-yard line. Backs in the eye formation behind Rick Mention. The sophomore quarterback has not thrown an interception this season. And he started in four straight victories. Throws quicker left side. Caught by Sullivan at the 20-yard line. He moves out across the 25 to the 27 for an OK first down. Here's that drop. Mention bringing his team to the line of scrimmage. And his back's in the eye formation. He has two receivers to his left. He hands left side and quickly tackled in the backfield. Was Nick Path doesn't find much running room at all at about 13 from the 24 yard line. Again, backs in the eye formation. Receivers out to the right now, two of them for Mention. Takes the snap, running the option right side, tries to get outside, does so, sticks out a stiff arm and gets out of bounds over the 30 yard line at the 32 yard line. So a pickup. Be third down at about five yards from the 32-yard line of O'Kills. Out of the shotgun now, Mention with one back flank to his left. He's got two receivers to his left and one to his right. Third and five, Mention rolling left side. He's got room to run. He's going to do so. He's got the first down and some more out across the 40 and nailed away in the sideline at the 41-yard line. Tackle made by Brian Rosenthal of Rick Mention. And up front, it's Chris Wiggers, Brandon Sandlin on the tackles. Steve Rivers and Nick Sullett are the guards, and Adam Mintrup is the center. On first down and 10 Highlanders from the 41. The snap on the shotgun goes over Mention's head, but he gets a good bounce. He's got it on his 25, running and falling over the middle. Nearly caught, but the pass is broken up around the other 40. Off the bat, they're using big Nick Sullett as a blocking fullback. Now they flank Sullett yeah, out. out. Yeah. They put him in the slot right. He's, he's, out, with, he's out with three other receivers, so four receivers and the shotgun for Mention on second and 10 from his 41. The sophomore rose to his right. Looks like he wants to run, but now pulls back and throws. It's caught on the right side by his fullback, Custer, and Custer's across midfield, and in the other territory for another three. First and 10 from the other 47. Low score at 9.51 to go in the opening quarter. Highlanders on their opening drive. Again, they play Sullet as a blocking back, and the big fella takes the handoff up the middle, and that's why they put him there, because he's moving people, getting the power out across the 45, so inside the other 45, they're about the 43 player. Averaged 20 points a game last year, and has a tremendous outside shooting touch for a big guy around 280 pounds. He can really shoot it. So Fortune, who sometimes plays fullback, actually dots the line now and takes the pitch right side. He gets around the end and pushes out of bounds around the 40-yard line. First out by Eric Schneider of Elder, but he, and they're using Nick Sellett as their power back. Third, third and a short two for the Highlanders at the other 38. No score, nine minutes remaining opening quarter. Rolling left side is mentioned on the option. He's going to keep it and be slowed under short of the first down. Pat McAtee, the first man to hit him, and then he was finished off by Dave Kumpf and Pat Brennan. That's a long one, short two here. Well, at the other 38, no score, eight and a half to go opening quarter. The triple eye formation in the backfield, and the handoff goes to the second man through, and Arms now has the first down. Alex Arnsmeyer, the brother of Perrin, first down left side as he gets just an off and then maybe a couple. Had the ball four minutes. First and ten, O'K is moving from left to right at the other 35 yard line. Mention pitches left side to Fortune. Fortune makes a nifty move, shakes a tackle, not another. And he's going to the other 25 yard line, excuse me. Quarterback, they use a uh, Big Nick Sellett, they have uh, 
quite a collection of running backs. No main guy, just a, a bunch of very versatile backs. Second one at the other 26. Mention out of the shotgun. Rose right. Looks like he wants to throw. Dustin now lobs it over the middle. That probably should have been caught, but his receiver slipped his head. Sort of a bad throw. Uh, Rob, I deserve it for the humiliation of actually saying that out loud. <laughs> Third and one, no kills. Drive, stay alive at the other 26. No score opening quarter. And the hand goes to the big fella, Selleck, straight ahead. He's moving people still on the screen. He's got guys hanging on his ankles. And he is not brought down until he's inside the 20 yard line for the 18. First down, high back. And it's first and 10, okay, is at the other 18, with 6.53 to go in the opening quarter. Mention has two running backs on the eye formation, two receivers to his right, hands again to sell it up the middle. Not much room this time, but he does manage to fall forward for a gain of about one. And again, P.J. Volker there, along with Rick Van Hook. He had seven zip before Elder geared it up and won 34-7. So, uh, good drive for our kills, but uh, history says that this may not last. Second and seven from the other 15. Back to throw, as mentioned, throws right side, in and out of the hands of his intended receiver. Field, and uh, their bleachers are defending down to our right. Oak kills third and seven from the other 15. Backs in the eye formation, check that shotgun, and mention rolling to his right. Rowan getting pressured, and he will be forced out of bounds at the 15-yard line. A good defensive play for the Elder Panthers, made by Brady Miller in pursuit from his linebacker position, and it will be fourth and long. It will be fourth down and six yards from the 14, so they will attempt the field goal to Highlanders well, and they've got an able kicker in Clint Richmond. He's six for seven on the year for field goals. And now Steve Sheehan is going to take a time. He's four for four between 30 and 39 yards this year, six or seven overall. The snap is down, the hold is down, but there's a whistle blown. Highlanders to the line of scrimmage. Triple I formation. Sarah, Armsmeyer, and Fortune dotting the eye. And the center is mentioned, it is Sarah at the middle. It appears he has enough as he lunges forward. It's going to be close and depend on the almighty spot here. The officials are still not signal that O'Kills has, but the official is not completely convinced that it's an O'Kills first down as of yet, and now they are. Fourth downs and three third downs, and this would be the uh, epitome of a sustained drive. First and goal from the seven for O'Kills. Again, the triple I formation, it's Arnsmeyer carrying left side. Pat Blunt makes a hit behind the line of scrimmage and drops him for a loss of one. Good work by Brunner coming up and uh, seven minutes. Second and goal from the other eight-yard line. Rick Metzen under center. Again, the triple I formation behind him. He pitches left side to Fortune. Fortune over hole, ducks inside now. Rick's is going toward the goal line. Leans forward and will be just short of an O'Kills touchdown. Literally inches from the goal line inside the one. So it's uh, first and goal, but that second and goal will uh, third and goal. Rolling goal from the one, quarterback sneak up the middle. Touchdown, O'Kills! <laughs> two fourth downs and three third downs. And uh, show a lot of variety on offense. Clint Richmond will get a shot at the extra point here. This kick is up. And it is good enough on the pitch score to the network. The injured elder player was defensive end David Kumpf, and we're trying to get an update on his condition. Elder will get the football for the first time tonight now. Taking it as Brett Mesger at his five, moves up the middle of the field, over the 15, the 20, the 25, and he's all the way out to the 30-yard line. Nolan Stevens will be the fullback, and we'll also see if Kyle Kester gets the start. Everybody questionable tonight in the backfield, but does appear to be Kester at tailback, and we'll see that at fullback. So first down, 10 Panthers from their 30. Backs in the eye formation. Carry on the center. Turns, fakes a hand off to Kester, right side, throws deep down the middle of the field. He's got Levy wide open. Levy can't catch up with it. He hits his fingertips at the old coast, 25. Paul Rapun, Joe Dugan inside with Kenny Weiss with the center on second and 10 Panthers from their 30, trailing 7 to nothing. Backs in the eye formation. They can't off the Kester once again, but this one is whistled dead before it can get a little bit of wrinkle in against Calgary. 
The line of scrimmage actually technically the 26 yard line, second and 15. Play action pass, Colin Carey. Plenty of time, he has all day. Fires over the middle, over the head of Brent Mesker, but into the hands of Phil Ruby. Check that, it is not Phil Ruby, it's his replacement, Luke Casero. Getting some point time with Chris Braun on the injury list. Uh, just a brilliant catch out near midfield and uh, first down the yardage. Game of 26, first and 10 Panthers at the 48. Kester up the middle. Blowing forward over the 45 to the 44-yard line. Who is brought down by Tony Jones. The linebackers and DBs momentarily. Second down and six. At the 44-yard line. Back to throws Carey, setting up the screen left side. Kester's got it. Kester has a little bit of blocking. He works his way inside the 40. The 35, and he's down to the 32-yard line. Nice screen set up by the other Panthers. The tackle finally made by Mike Hilson. By Matt Basia. The corners are Mike Hall and Jeff Schroeder. The safety is Andy Rasnick. Kester, right side, gets outside. Got some room, ducking his head and getting about eight yards on the right sideline. Tough to see who made that hit over on the far sideline. The shadows growing very dark over there, but eight yards for Kester. It looks like number 31, the thousand yard rusher is A-OK. -okay. Second and two from the 24, Kester gets the call again. This time he's hit at the line of scrimmage, but still churning his big legs. He may have gotten the first down. And that's in only eight plus games for number seven nothing before losing 34 to seven. Third and one Panthers at the Oko's 23, trailing seven to nothing. Backs in the eye formation with Kester dotting the eye. It's Kester straight up the middle. He stumbles at the line of scrimmage, but manages to fall forward for the first down. He's got it near the 25-yard line, or the 20-yard line, excuse me. He's the type of a back, as the game gets uh, older, he gets stronger and his runs get longer. First and 10 from the 20, back to throw, Colin Carey. Getting a heavy rush now, fires and it's battered down at the line of scrimmage. On the sideline on crutches tonight. He was crowned homecoming king last week. Second and 10 Panthers from the Oak Hills 20. Backs are staggered. They came off the Kester play action pass, flagged down. And rolling right is Carey in trouble with a sack. Back around the 29 yard line. Uh, they kept that Oak Hills line alive earlier with a uh, fourth down penalty. And now a penalty when Elder has the ball. Elder trail 7 and F and second and 21 from the 31. Play action pass again. And big pressure on Colin Torrey. Rolling right, fires just before he gets to the sideline and just scored away. And the right side, because Carey at first appears like he's going to have time, but then the right pressure comes. And Brett Goodhart has joined Andy Lancet. They're going to have two safeties. They're going to drive them back there. Rolling 21 Panthers at the right close 31. Boxer split, Carey back the pass. Getting good protection, throws left side. Maybe he's got it inside the 15, and he's down to the nine before he's knocked out of bounds. Knocked out by Gebhardt, but Levy hit the AK's nine. They trail seven to nothing, Elder does, with 35 seconds to go in the first. Go on the left hash as Elder moves from right to left. Backs are staggered. It's a pitch right side. Kester trying to get outside, getting a good lead block from his fullback, Lasita, but he can't turn the corner, and he's knocked out of bounds around the five. So the Highlanders did a pretty good job of stringing out that score that comes to an end. And now they will have it second and good in that way. And pass a little long. Dave Kampf was injured and taken off the field. Second and goal over at the OK's four. Elder now moving from left to right as they switch ends. Panthers in all white. OK's in black and red. Colin Kelly under center with his backs in the eye formation. There's two outs. They're split and he hands to Kester up the middle. Huge hurt. Kester met at the goal line. Surging forward and he is not in. They're really an effort by the OK's defense. In particular, Alex up a third and goal. And they're going to call the line of scrimmage the two, so they manage to blow him back. Third and goal, over from the two, trailing seven to nothing. Kester, a second attempt at the goal line, loses the football. The first of the year for Kyle Kester Crawford. Third and goal at the Oak Hills two, and now Oak Hills gets it back. Deep in their own territory, leading 7 0, but Elder turns it over. So, first and 10 0 kills at their three yard line now, leading at 7 0. And out of the eye formation, 
It's a pitch back to Fortune who makes it out of the end zone. That's kind of a dangerous play in your own end zone, but he only makes it out to the two, so a loss of one count. So second and 11, Highlanders now from their two-yard line with 10.39 to go here in the second quarter. Shotgun formation for Rick Menchin. He's standing in his end zone, has the ball, throws over the middle of the field, and it's tipped away in coaching staff. Head coach Steve Sheehan is running his own offense this year. Third and 11, Highlanders from their own two. Menchin under center has his backs in the eye formation. Hands to sell it up the middle, sell it out over the two to about the four yard line, so he gets a couple. But not nearly enough, obviously. Now up the middle to sell it. The wedges out three or four extra yards for Andy, Andy Ramsick, the senior punter who's averaging about 36 yards a kick for a kill. So Ruby back deep, along with Richie Jones. Standing on the back of his goal line is Westnick, and he gets a good kick away. Taken by Jones and dropped at the 35-yard line. Kills, he gets back on it at the 43. But I tell you, the other special teams will make your heart skip a beat this year. Outstanding field position, but two trailing the Highlanders 7 0. 41 yard punt for Andy Ransnick, so Ransick, excuse me, so good effort for the punter. First and 10 Panthers at the OK's 43, trailing 7 0 here in the second quarter. They came off to Kester, throwing his carry over the middle. It's caught by Mesger, and he's knocked down at the 25 yard line. Yards on the play to Mesger. So first and 10 Panthers at the OK's 26 is all the moves from left to right. Trailing 7 0. Pitch to Kester, left side, cuts it back in now. Plays a couple guys with him over the 25 and the 24. But good pursuit by the Booth Panthers at the Oak Hills 24. Trailing 7 0 with 8.44 to go before halftime. Kyle Kester, the lone setback, as Colin Carey, the senior QB, goes under center. Double tight end formation. Drops, fakes a handoff, the late handoff, now rolls right, throws. <laughs> And uh, that time, he uh, sort of rained on the Elder offensive play for sure. Uh, second turnover for Elder. Actually, return it to the 23, so first and 10. O'Kills at their 23-yard line. Mention changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Throws for the right side. Now, they're set the right back on the Panthers. And then they go. Rosenthal on the left side now. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Elder. There is a flag on the play. Game. And he's got uh, a lot of uh, real estate to make up successfully to tie this game. The snap is good, the hold is down, the Franco's kick is long enough, it appears to be wide to the left, and it is. So for the first time this see Tom DeFranco doesn't get it done, but he's certainly able to come a lot, as it was essentially shot away from the play, it was not a clip, just a personal foul on the Panthers, which is a 15-yard penalty, but did not affect the scoring play, but it did cost the Panthers the extra point. The Franco gets a lot of the kickoff, they let it hit down at the five, O'Kills does, and goes into the end zone for a touch. So Rosenthal's TD brings out with him one at seven to six. And O'Kill's with it, first and 10 from the 20. Mention out of the shotgun, rolls right side, keeps it now, and he's out to the 22 before he's banged down. Hit by Rick Van Hook, a gain of two, and the intercept on. No, not at all, it was a long throw way across the field, he put too much air under it, and Rosenthal stepped in front of the Oak Hills receiver, and uh, and walked into the end zone. And for Rosenthal, his third pick of the year that tries, ties Andrew Dwyer for the lead. Second and eight Highlanders at their 22. Backs in the eye, two receivers to the left. And the hand is to Fortune left side and a tailback going nowhere. He's met in the backfield and maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage. Good play made by Pat Brunner. At least so far has been uh, very even as the scorer obviously indicates. Seven to six, O'Kills with 6.52 to go before halftime. Highlanders have it, third and eight, they're 22. Shotgun formation, mentioned with the shovel pass to Fortune, rolling right side, gets out to the sideline, cuts it in there, he's got the first down. He's out over the 30 to the 33 yard line, first down, O'Kills on the nifty play. And he, he brings out the shovel pass in the second quarter. Game of nine there, first and 10. O'Kills from the 31, leading at seven to six. Backs in the eye formation, two receivers to the left. 
mentioned, fakes a handoff, keeps it himself, and he's punished at the 34 yard line. Didn't see who got the hit. I think it was Brady Miller who gets up off the bottom of the pile. Somebody, either Miller or Flack, the sophomore, Rick Minchin. Second and eight, Highlanders from their 33, moving from right to left and leading at seven to six here in the second quarter. Shotgun formation. Minchin has a close right sideline too high for his intended receiver for the hit on a board. But supposedly just a stiff neck, at least that's the early diagnosis. And he was moving all of his body parts. So good news for Kunk, but he is not in the defensive lineup the rest of the evening. Third and eight, okay, from the 33, backs in the eye formation. Option, left side, it's there. Fortune has the corner, tries to turn it up, and he gets out over the 40 yard line to the 42. And that is going to be another okay's first down. At 5.25 to go before halftime, and the Highlanders lead at 7 to 6. Okay's came in with an impressive 7 and 2 record, the Panthers at 7 and 1. Backs in the eye formation, two receivers to the right for the sophomore QB. Turns, hands to Fortune, right side. Fortune stacked up and just makes it back to the line of scrimmage. Good job by the entire left front of the outer defense, Scott Freeman and Pat McAtee there to shut it down. Move some new people in, and uh, Pat Brunner is now in a three-point stance. He moves to the left end on this snap. Four-man front for the Panthers. On second and nine, back to throw. Mention throws over the middle, in and out of the hands of Billy Brown in trouble. They can certainly run the football very effectively. Third and nine from the 43 for O'Kills. Again, the shotgun formation, three receivers to the right. Mention rolling right. Throws into double coverage. It's broken up. Brady Miller in the area. Along with Brewer and defensively. Now, Arnsmeyer and Kester ended up right in the same spot. Andy Rancic to punt for the second time tonight, standing at his own 30. Got away a rocket last time, good for 41 yards. This one a little shorter, end over end. The right over let hit down. And it gets a great O kills bounce all the way inside the 15 and down to. But I'm going to say that's about a 50 yard punt for the break. But O kills leading 7 6. First and 10 Panthers at the O kills 6 after the 50 yard punt. Backs in the eye formation, Kester up the middle, he's met at the line of scrimmage and knocked down after a modest game. Well, I'll tell you, O.K. is really fighting. This is only their fourth home game of the year. They were forced to play an independent schedule this year. Their A.B. Dick Hauke have to go out and find games all over the place. Second and eight, Panthers from the eight. Pitch right side to Kester. He's got a hole, he sneaks through, he's out over the 10 to tackle with the 11. Nice play by Josh Gray in pursuit, coming from the right end all the way to his left. Sycamore and that hole here. Third and three. Panthers trailing seven to six. And Sycamore in the 11 yard line, trying to move from left to right. The single setback is Kester, but Colin Carey wants to throw. Rose slightly to his left, fires left side. Dangerous pass nearly picked up. points on the board before halftime. Kester to punt from his own goal line. Gets away a very high kick. Fair catch called for and made by Schwinn on the pass and the interception of the four over here. Uh, they'll put themselves in good shape. You gotta remember Elder will get the ball first in the third quarter, so Oakdale's uh, needs to put the hammer down here late in quarter two. First and 10 at the 41. Broken play, handoff given to Fortune very late, and he makes it to the 40. Totally a broken play. Rick mentioned turned, didn't have anybody to give it to, and then kind of just went back they are at the elder 40. Got just maybe a frog here on the play, so it will be called second and 10 at the 40. Okay, leading 7 to 6 with 2.13 to go before halftime. They have two timeouts remaining if they need them. Shotgun formation for Mention. Rolls to his left as a design run all the way. Turns it inside now. Nifty move, eludes a tackle, and then he's hit hard at the 35 and dropped at the 34. Picked up an extra three yards there. Gutsy play by Mention. Just 6'1, 178, and a sophomore. Third down and four. Oak Hills at the Panther 34. Rolling right as Mention. Being chased by Van Hope needs to get rid of it. Does so right sideline. Is it intercepted on a diving play by the play last, last game, but we did not see any action from him. And he's in there now. Fourth and four. Oak Hills pulling for the Panther 34. Crowd on its feet. Backs in the eye formation. Two receivers to the left. And movement by Ryder 
Rogers up front. Callahan, no kills. They've still got time to work with. A buck 18 remaining, and they lead it 7 to 6, looking for more. Shotgun formation, three receivers to the right, and one running back flanked just to the right of Minchin. He drops the throw. Looking deep down the middle of the field. Fires in the double coverage and it's intercepted. Where's it there with the second of the night at the 10? Works left side and he's hung tied around the net and dropped out around the 20 yard line. Up the middle of the field and the Rosenthal. I'm really dating myself here, but the night train lane used to, used to employ the old necktie tackle in the 50s with the Detroit Lions, and it was deadly. You're always giving me an educational experience. I, I appreciate that. I learned so much. First intended for 38, carry back for four, and he will be sacked on the line of 41 yard line. Seconds to go, and Elder now in the hurry up. He'll be second and 15 from the 33. Carey in the center, drops, rolls to his right. Steadies himself, fires to the right side, and now through the hands of Phil Weaver, he went into the air, and then played the Piper. 31. Just 33 seconds remaining, and you got to imagine Elder just hoping not to make a mistake here. They're going to possibly give the ball back to Oak Hills. Carey on the quick handoff up the middle, and Kester fights his way out across the 15. And he, uh, correct me, it is now third down. And it's Kester on the carry to the right side, and he's out to the 20 yard now. Seven to six, and ready to get the football back. Andy Lancet back deep for the Highlander, standing at his own 45. Kyle Kester nearly had his punt block, but got away a bomb. And Lancet will just let bounce at the 44 yard line. Not sure why he didn't make the fair catch. It rolls back to the 31 yard line. So Trailed Highlands managed to come back in on that one. Trailed St. X never got back in that football game. And now they will trail their kills by one. And as mentioned, takes a lead in the first half. So for the Elder Camp Panthers to start this third quarter trailing 7-6 here at Oak Hill. Clint Richmond will kick it away for the Highlanders. They're in black jerseys, red pants, red helmets. Richmond moving from right to left, putting his foot on the ball, and Elder and all right to receive. And it bounces short. That's a live ball at the 20. Someone for the Panthers does get on it. And now it appears to be loose again, but Elder gets the football. They've got uh, just shy of uh, their own 20-yard line. So Elder trailing 7-6 to six as we start the second half. First and 10 Panthers moving from left to right in white uniforms, and it's Kyle Kester left side hammering into the right side of that Oak Hills line and moving forward for about three yards. Here we go, good old basic smash mouth football. Plays both sides of the football and plays them well. Second and seven, Panthers from the 23. Backs in the eye, three receivers in the game, two to the right for Colin Carey. Drops to throw, getting some pressure, fades back, throws off the back foot, and it's through the hands of Joe Wainscott. Wainscott, she was uh, looking for some uh, positive contributions. Of course, Chris Brown out of the lineup tonight, as we mentioned before the game. He's got an ankle injury. Third and seven Panthers from the 23, straight seven step drop for Colin Curry, and slid on the inside the 15. Inside, it's going to yard now. Kester will stand at the two. Schroeder back deep for the low kills. The punt nearly blocked, could have been, and may have been tipped. Lands at the 35, bounces forward, and Elder bounces out of bounds around the 39. Flag, the side, side judge got the blood of Coach Pies, but Doug Ramsey just didn't run it right down Oak Hill's throat on that series. He went with a first down run and then two throws. One was incomplete, and the other resulted in a sack. I can't believe that he didn't go more basic and just run it right at Oak Hill. And if Paul Dillmore didn't block that point, it went right through his hands. He had a real good shot at him for pressure on Kester, now in first and ten from the 39 of the Panthers. Oak Hills runs right side with Fortune, and Fortune gets a couple. For Fortune, so it's second and seven at the Panther, 36. Oak Hills leading 7-6 to six here in the third quarter. Their first drive of the second half. Backs in the two receivers to the left. Option left side. Pitch to Fortune. He's got the corner. Turns it and now it's quickly shut down by Volker, but Fortune slips through his hands, and Dwyer has to drive him out of bounds at the 35. So good play by Volker, but he couldn't finish the job. Dwyer did... 
Oakley's leading 7 to 6 with 9.30 to go in the third quarter. Shotgun formation for Rick Minchin. He's got three receivers to his right and he's flanked by a running back. Let's sell it. And he drops to throw. Pump folks now lobs a hair and away for the right side and a DB throw down for the Panthers. And it's caught by Steve Young. Red rolls it in inside the table. Well, it was uh, just a high lob, a very poor throw by Rick Minchin, but uh, Dan Bachman just lost his footing and it results in a huge play for Oak Hills. First and 10, just outside the 10. Triple I formation, and the hand goes to the second line third. That's Ansmeyer, and he gets a couple. Brenner on the scene for Elder. It's just not, to, not been a good evening, not the crisply played game at all. Seven to six Highlanders. Second and nine at the Elder nine. They came off the fortune and the line. There's some room there on the right side and down inside the five yard line goes Matt Pasini. The main playbook plus the appendix and big play here. Third and seven just outside the seven. Again, the triple I formation. And two tight ends. The hand goes to Lansmeyer. He's trying to get the left corner. Turns it, slips it. It's a two-score football game. They lead 13 to 6, and they're going for two. Triple I formation, sell it, Meyer, and Fortune. Third came off. Manchin makes the throw, now he takes it in and runs to the left side, and he gets into the end zone. And it's 15 to 6, okay. And there's the beauty of him. You're going to roll him in the mouth. He's all yeah. Here on the uh, Pep Sports Radio Network, we go literary on you. Clint Richmond taking it away. It's taken at the goal line by Levy. Levy moves it over the 10, the 15, and out to the 20. The way the game is gone, it starts to creep into your mind because all of the drives have taken up a lot of crap. Well, so far, Elder's offense has been a figment of somebody's imagination. It's been uh, basically non-existent. First and 10 Panthers, and we call it the 21. High formation for K, two receivers, they're split. It's Kester, left side, no foot, came off. Kerry wants to throw long down the middle, he's got Levy. Levy under it, and drops it at the 35. Right it. It's second and 20. All Brett Gebhardt could do is play, and Levy did drop it. Second and 10 from the 21. Back to throw, Kerry again. Sets up the screen right side, Kester has it. Over the 25, the 30, lowering the head, and fighting through it out to the 35 yard line. Tackle made by Paul Dilbo. Passing situations uh, snap after snap. Preston now up in the line, first and 10 from the 35, tripped up and dropped it the line of scrimmage. Great, Kester's not a factor anymore. Not really, when you're facing second and 10, it's sort of tough to run Kester off tackle. Now we're facing that now, second and 10 from the 35 and trailing 15 to six. Carry back the third, plenty of time. Fires over the middle, caught by Mosgrew near midfield. He's dragged down. Actually just shot in the field at the 49. Tackles made by Glenn Hammersmith. And we're only six minutes to go in the third quarter. Panthers have it first and 10 at the 49, traveling from left to right. Backs in the eye, receivers are split. Play action pass, Kerry over the middle. Nice catch by Mezger reaching behind himself and pulling it in at the Highlander 30. Using the passing game. First and 10 Panthers from the Oak Hills 36. Delayed hand off Kester for a big hole left side inside the 40. And down to the 35 yard line, excuse me, inside the 30 down to the 25. And finally back on the north. Single setback is Kester, three receivers in the game for Kerry, two of them are to his right. The senior quarterback, a long cadence, now drops to throw. Getting pressure up the middle, trying to set up the screen, fires to Kester out on the right side, and Ryan Kester tries to turn the corner and can't. He is knocked down and he's always over and he's still kills, so it's been a long time in coming. If it happens. Second and six Panthers from the Oak Hills 21, they trail up 15 to 6, Elder does. Single setback is Kester, carry back the throw, pressure to immediately, has to flush out to his left, throws on the run and completes it out near the left sideline, just short of first down yardage, but what a throw of the, uh, the other receiver catching that one. Third and four at the 18, good play here for both teams. Kester up the middle, 
rolling his head, pushing forward and getting the first down, crossing the 15-yard line. That's just where he needed to go, and it looks like first and 10 from the Oak Hills 15. Panthers trailing 15 to 6, looking to get into the end zone. Backs in the high formation, they came off the Kester. Jerry throws over the middle, it's caught at the five. Wayne Scott going for the end zone, dives forward and gets there. Jerry Wayne Scott got out of the grasp of Alex Arms and convert. DeFranco missed his first extra point this year earlier. Pops this one high and slightly to the left, but it gets inside the left upright. And with 2.49 to go third. Back in the game at 15-13. They trail with 2.49 to go in the third. Tommy DeFranco to kick it away. It's a high end over end kick. Well, it's taken back at the 10 yard line and handed off to Schroeder. Schroeder comes out over the 15 to the 19 where he's pinned down. It was original. And they only seat 4,100. So obviously a lot of people are standing. First and 10. Oak Hills from the 19. They're to 15, 13. Box in the eye formation. The handoff goes to Sowett, the big man up the middle. Boy, is he fighting for some yard. He couldn't get much. Just about two yards, but he fed for him. And he'll make it second and eight. We want to mention uh, thanks to all of our sponsors tonight, in particular right now, Cooper Electric, who throws money into the band Unix team. So second and eight from the 21 now for Ocos. As we approach the two-minute mark of the third quarter on the 15-13 lead for the Highlanders. That's in the affirmation. So it again gets the carry up the middle and he rumbles out to the 25-yard line. Still on his feet on top of the pile. And it appears the ball's coming loose as he fought for extra yards. And we'll see the officials going in under the scrum now to see if he fumbled and if he ever came up with it. Otto claiming the ball hit the ground, but no one's claimed to have it yet, and my hand pops up out of the pile. Can I catch her, and did I play conservative, or did they roll out with uh, the mother quarterback, Rick Mitchell? Two receivers in the game to the right, backs in the eye formation for Mitchell. He does roll to the right, looks like he wants to run the option, he's going to keep it, he's got the first down, he's out over the field and the wooden out of bounds, at about the 35 yard line. First stars in black jerseys and red pants, red helmets, moving from right to left. All they're defending and all right. Mention in the center. Backs in the eye. They came up, play action pass. Mention moves right, throws to the right sideline. Way too high for the tight end. Tim Kester couldn't have it in when they bring up second down. That possession will have to steady uh, the elder confidence because they protected the passer well and and uh, drove the ball. Second and 10 Highlanders from the 47. Running left side is Fortune. And here it is, Andy Mack. Not much good fortune for Doug. It's <laughs> pretty narrow. Throws him down often. The good part is that they have pretty decent field position around midfield. Holder scrambles into a four-man front. On third and 10. And they're setting up the screen. OK, so he's over the middle. Florida way too high for Fortune by mentioning he's got in to Fortune and uh, he was no he didn't kick very well but got a real good roll out of it. Mesger and Levy back deep for Elder. And it takes plenty of time, kicks a long drive, but drives Mesger back and hits at the 10 and Debra locks it way into the end zone. So that kick had quarter three seconds left. 66, Cookshank Road and uh, Dennis Bly is the main man at Shock Tower Carpets and uh, he is a St. X grad but uh, he loves elder football. Good man. First and 10 Panthers from their 20, trailing 15-13. Last play of the third quarter, play action. Carry back to third, going long for Mesger this time. Brett's open. He's got it over the shoulder at the Oak Hill's 35. Tackled by Gibbo at the 31, but on the last play of the third quarter, from business at the Oak Hill's 30 to start the fourth quarter. Elder trails 15-13. Colin Kerry in the center is out of moves from right to left. They came off the Kester Kerry on left. He's hit as he throws on the left side. And it's in the second of his shoulder. Troy is at the 15, works his way up to the 24. Andy Mack, Kester fumbled at the 2. The 24 yard line was the last time Elder threw an interception. And now this time at the 30 yard line, they end up for High formation, excuse me, shotgun formation for Rick Minchin in first and 10 from his 25. Colin is moving from left to right. Mention rolling left, 
pressure, and he will be dumped back at the 17-yard line. Van Hook there, along with a couple of Panthers, getting in there also. That's a great actually on the play, so make it second and 18. Hey, Chris, from your 17. And off the fortune, left side, he's still hurt. It's closed quickly with the 25. Got shut down by Pat Brenner. Actually shut down at the 20, so he'll pick up the three, making a third. Showing some uh, inaccuracies throwing the ball. And uh, this could be a watershed moment for a turnover right here. Mentioned back to throw in 30 and 15, throws over the middle. It's caught by Sullivan, and Sullivan is tripped up on an excellent play by Volker. After a pickup of just a few, he had some Andy Ranzik to get the, to flip-flop the field position around. He averages 36 of boot. He's got a 50-yarder and a 41 yarder to his credit tonight. And he kicks a line drive. He's taken by Mesco to 40. Mesco with a nice move and works his way up to midfield. Well, Mesco has been a hauled in that long 50-yarder. Just have uh, struggled a bit tonight, but Mesco has played very well. And Brian Rosenthal with two interceptions tonight. Kester on the carry, first and 10 from midfield, goes left side, takes about five Highlanders out of bounds with him at the Yokos 47. So a pick up the goal right there. Second and seven Panthers from the Yokos 47, the trail 15-13 here in the fourth quarter. Box in the eye formation, receiver split. Go action pass. Carry with some time, that is it, and front to the midfield. A cover shot. And not the seats behind the Oakley's crowd. You can hear now on their feet. Golden 10 Panthers from midfield. Box in the eye. Receiver split. And carry back the throw. Plenty of time. Fires over the middle. Caught by Wayne Scott for a first down inside the 40. And he's down to the 37 yard line. Joe Wayne Scott, the sure handed tight end, has it in. It was the see on the first round of the playoffs next week. First and 10 Panthers at the Oakley's 37. Carry back to throw again. Sets up on the right side. Throws right side for Kester. Kester gets down to the 25 yard line before he's dragged out of bounds by Schroeder. Also on the hit, Paul Dilbert. Source told me that. I think it was Dick Hockey, the, the Oakville's AD. To play the ESPN, I did not know that. <laughs> it's a little bit weird, but first and 10 from the 25. Panthers. Kester with a little bit of room. Works his way down to the 20. Right has not been there in the last two goals. Six million from for the Highlanders. And second and six. There it is. Right. up the middle. Slightly to his right. And he works his way to about the 16 yard line. But he will be a yard shy of the first down. Cracked down to 6.45 remaining. Oh, he just uh, wears down the opposition. Well spot there. He put it back at the 17. It's third and three. Pitch right side, Kester. Going for the corner. Has the corner, first down, tight walking the sideline, and then he's out of bounds at the 10 yard line. Kyle Keel. The Eagle team has moved the ball terribly efficiently tonight, and that is knocking on the door, trailing by two. Kerry under center, drops the throw. Hit and shot. from 18 yards. In the opening game against Wolfgang, oh, he missed it, and uh, they haven't even attempted one since then. Second and goal from the 19, and the wheel is coming off the offensive wall, and he's killed. Ruby and Wayne Scott, if they can get the pass protection, they could probably get a throw into the end zone. Hold it down two with 4.42 to go. Kills back to pass on third and goal from the 22. Fires, and it's not coming up the 10-yard line. They will snap it. It's a good snap. It's a good hold. The kick is low. Systems. Yeah. They use the lower one for soccer, the upper one for football. They hit the lower bar. So on a normal football goal post, they wouldn't have touched anything. It just would have been short. But the Franco no good from 39. And now O'Kills with 430 left leads by two. Little by keeper for uh, Manchin. And he's making some lucky moves on the right side. And he's out of the thing to 35 to 40. And finally, Holder has all timeouts left, all three of them. Still plenty of time on the clock with 410. And the clock moving. First and 10, O'Kills at the 43, moving from left to right and leading 15-13 with four minutes left. Again, the quarterback keeper, and Manson is over the 45 to the 47. Ball comes loose. It's put back by the Panthers. Ryan Vanderpool. Vanderpool running backwards, and I turned the right side, and he's brought out at the 44. But the Panthers have the 
the dry turf here at, uh, at Denny Beck State. Watching some people from the 45, moving from right to left from 1513 to 3.48 to go, all three three knocks remaining. Carry back to throw, fires left side and line over the head of Wayne Scott who stuck with the right hand and touched it but couldn't help. Green leagues, they're playing an independent schedule. Uh, they have to travel to Indiana, up to second and ten campers at their own 45, trailing by two with 343 to go. The one setback is Kester. About the throw is Kerry looking left and he snapped. at the 35-yard line. Kester in some sort of rock play now, and third and long and they got a throw. Hold in a bunch, 19, and they set up the screen to the right side. Kester has it, cuts to the middle of the field. Up to a midfield, but he stops short at about the 47. Matthew Wild right for the ninth formation of the backfield. 224 to go, this is it. Four from in from the other 47, Panthers trail by two. Four came off, carry the throw, looking over the middle, throws high, but it's caught. It's caught by Mesger. He's got a first down at the 35 yard line of O.K. What a grab by Brad, and he has played a rare of a 50 forever. 19 yard game, first and 10 Panthers at the 34 yard line of O.K. Pitch to Kester right side, gets a good block, cuts it in. He's over the 35 yard line. Stands by O'Kills and they can sight this baby away. Mention in the center. Hands to the big fella, sell it up the middle, sell it carrying a host of players with him still pushing. He's out toward the 25 yard line. That play had no. Well, O'Kills is flat out, out executed all in this game. Second and seven from the 25. O'Kills with the 15 13 lead on the football. Minute 35 remaining. Handoff. Goes to Arnsmeyer. Arnsmeyer can gain nothing. Brody Miller swallows him up at the 25. And other six from the 25. Triple I formation for mention. Other creeping up to the line of scrimmage, showing blitz. And the 25 yard line. The first down here will go a long way in sucking this away. Other has only one timeout remaining. Shotgun formation for Rick Mention. Takes a snap, runs to his left, running it all the way. Tucks it, going for the first down, he stops short. Stopped at the 29 yard line. Good pursuit by the Panthers. Ryan Vanderpool, the first man there, he had some help, and Elder's going to get the football back. Fifth and long, and uh, out comes the air cleanly. Elder's coming after it. He can't get it, let it get over his head. Ruby has moved up to the line of scrimmage. He's normally back with Mesgrid. He's going to try and block it. He's on the left side. Ruby spreads out and they're coming after Lanzik. Here they come. Ruby takes a crack at it, doesn't get it. Lanzik gets it away. Nice job. Mesger comes up, takes it at the 40. The 35 out of bounds and a flag flag. I have a feeling that Mesger. They're going to have a lot of real estate to make up with a minute 15. Well, they have been part of the quotient for now they're in this game. First and 10 Panthers from their 36. They trail by two with a buck 15 left and no timeouts. Joey in the center as running backs are split. They will stay home for maximum protection. Now they fade out, and the pass goes to the seat on the left sideline and he drops it. The Panthers with a few gasps left. Second and 10 from their 36. Moving from right to left, turning 15 13 with a minute nine to go. Backs are split. Again, they go out and a pattern. Carry back the throw, throws down the middle. Cut as he catches it. Mesger is hitting this game. Four or five of those are the circus variety. 16-yard pickup, first and 10 Panthers at the 48, clock under a minute now and moving. Carry back to throw. That's plenty of time. Looking down the middle, throw sliding catch made by Levy. Levy has it. The chain gang about to put their chains down and the official has yet to start the clock. Now they've got it ticking. 35 seconds to go. Carry back, looking, fires left side. Call on the knees by Mezger, he's got him at 10 to 15 yards downfield. And eating up, the, and they're already close to field goal range. 38 seconds, first and 10 from the 22. Carry back again. Looking, throwing right side. It's caught down at the 15. Again, Elder has no timeouts to get the field goal team out there. So when do you send the field goal team out? When do you try it? Or do you take a shot at the end zone here? First and 10 from the 12. 
He spiked it. Clear a heads up play by Jeff Lucita on that last. From the 12 yard line. 22 seconds left. Kerry Bach. Rick Henson fires. And through the high receiver. And the Franco to win it or lose it from 29 yards away. They're setting up the 19. It's on the right hash. The snap's good. The hold is good. The kick is up. It's long enough. It's high enough. It's long. 29 yard field goal for Tommy DeFranco. The snap was a little high for Mike Schreiber, but Brian Rosenthal put it down perfectly. What a time for DeFranco to kick his first career field goal, 29 yards, with only 13 ticks left on the clock. And uh, Elder has willed this game to happen for Elder. The third DeFranco to be a place kicker for Elder. His dad did it back in the early 70s, his brother, not two. But uh, Elder's defense comes up tough. And Colin Carey engineers the two-minute drill, actually with less time than that, and gets him into the end zone. DeFranco to kick away with 13 seconds left. It's taken by Billy Brown at his 30, and oh, wow! Dan Bachman picks him up for championship wrestling and slams him to the ground. A lot of frustration. Actually, Oakhurst has used all its timeouts, so they've got nothing left. Ooh. And over 11 seconds, they trail by one. Black thickens. Sitting at their 31. Shotgun formation for Rick Mention. Sophomore barking out the signals, taking the snap. Let's it go long down the left sideline. And it's knocked down by Elder. The Oakhills came so close to winning this game tonight. This might be the last play of the game. Remember, it can't end in a defensive penalty. Five seconds to go. Screen set up over the middle. It's caught by Fortune. He's brought down from behind by Van Hook. And the clock expires. The Elder Panthers rush the field, and uh, they're a happy and relieved group of uh, purple and white clad players out there for Elder. They saw uh, their season going down as claims here this time, and uh, the Tommy DeFranco field goal with 13 seconds left salvages this game for Elder 16 to 15, and probably the best game ever played in this series, which dates back to the uh, Late 70s. I am speechless. Hopefully, John Curley is not. Let's go down to the sideline and see if we can get Tommy DeFranco. John Curley.